Once again, the sun-drenched Italian capital plays host to the WTA's best players as the Internazionale BNL d'Italia got underway in Rome. One of the final hitouts before the year's second major, with the French Open just two weeks away. One of those players hoping to build on her success here last time out is 2014 runner-up and home favourite Saru Irani. Although standing in her way was Slovakia's Daniela Hantakova, making her 12th appearance at the Premier 5 tournament. And it was the Slovak that took the advantage early on after the pair exchanged breaks, but Irani fought to remain in the set, breaking back again in the sixth. Excellent footwork as ever with the Italian to get onto that forehand. It remained on serve and Hantakova stood strong against the home favourite. Brilliant volley, absolutely brilliant. Uh, time on the WTA had to cover. Such a good player playing close to the net. But Irani broke again when it mattered most. The world number 56 hitting wide to give the Italian the opening set. This was the 11th time these two have met with Hantakova coming out on top last time out, meeting in Auckland in January. The Slovak was looking strong in the second set, having broken Irani twice, but this wouldn't stop the world number 15. The Italian broke again in the 11th game and continued to find answers. The set went to a tiebreak, but to the crowd's delight, Irani came through 6-4, 7-6. Elsewhere, Francesca Schiavoni failed to make it past fellow Italian and wildcard Karen Knapp with a 6-4, 6-1 win. She will now face newly crowned Madrid Open champion Petra Kvitova in the second round. You know what, I'm not really thinking about the French Open yet, but uh, I'm not really counting with me as a favourite of it. But uh, of course, I would like to do the best. I mean, I was in the third round last year and I would like to do better to get at least to the second, second week. So. I'm really looking forward to be there again and uh, do my best over there. Number eight seed Angelique Kerber also booked her place in round two for the 6-2, 6-3 win over France's Elise Cornet. And there was heartache for another home favourite as Roberta Vinci lost out to Heather Watson. An impressive performance and saw the British number one secure a 6-3, 6-1 victory. Last up in Monday's action saw former champion Venus Williams take on Czech qualifier Katarina Siniakova. The veteran American last won here in 1999 and turned back the years with a vintage display. The 19-year-old Czech was a recent semi-finalist in Prague but appeared out of her depth against the seven-time Grand Slam champion. The 14th seed, Ruthless, booking her place in the next round in just over an hour, where she'll meet either Elena Zvitolina or Flavia Panetta. Tuesday sees two of the biggest names in women's tennis begin their campaigns. Maria Sharapova will open proceedings on the central court against Australia's Jamila Gajasova before world number one and two-time defending champion Serena Williams lights up the evening session against Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova. I'm feeling really good, you know. I um, was excited to do a little bit better than I did last year in Madrid, so one round better is a step up. Um, and yeah, being here in Rome is good. So um, I feel like Rome is like true clay court tennis and it's like a little bit slower than Madrid and it's a little bit more intense and so I really, um, Kind of interested to see how I'll fare here. Williams will be aiming for her 11th win in a row in the Italian capital as the action heats up in the Eternal City with Roland Garros just around the corner.